Hello, my name is Kimberly Hilton and welcome to my art studio. Um, today it's a pretty day so I'm outside and um, this is kind of a big uh, piece of watercolor paper. It's um, I think uh, 22 by 30. It's a full sheet of Arches 100% cotton 140 pound weight watercolor paper and I'm getting ready to stretch this paper because I'm going to do a large landscape and in order to do this landscape and to keep the paper from buckling um, I'm going to go ahead and just take some staples and uh, stretch it to this um, this is a gator board it's kind of like a foam core board, but it's more rigid. It's made of plastic, so it's waterproof, and it's good to, um, it's a good support for your watercolor paper. But it's also good for um, stapling it if you're going to stretch your watercolor paper. So I don't always stretch my smaller uh, watercolor papers. They're kind of easy to flatten if you, if you need to, but this makes it easier to photograph so since it's a large scale painting then I'm just going to go ahead and stretch it. So I just did an outline of the drawing of the mountains that I'm going to paint in this um, in this painting and uh, and now I'm going to wet the paper and prepare it for being stretched. So I'm just going to turn it over on the other side. I spilled some water <laughs> on there a, a while ago, so it, it doesn't really matter. It's all going to be wet. So I'm just going to, I got plain water in this bucket and I have a couple of different sponges. You can use a sponge or a brush, but you just really want to soak your paper. Some people um, do it in the shower or soak it in a container, but I'm just going to wet it thoroughly with a sponge. And by wetting your watercolor paper, it causes the paper, the fibers in the paper to stretch and expand. And um, when you staple it to your board or glue it, you know, I mean, use gum tape to, you know, kind of glue it down to the board, uh, it, it um, doesn't allow the paper to um, buckle the way it does if, um, if you don't stretch it. And when it dries, it dries really flat. So that's really good if you want to photograph your artwork. And, um, I'm hoping this painting will turn turn into one that I want to photograph. So um, I'm just going to wet the pa the back of the paper really thoroughly. I'm just going to do the whole thing, and after a little while, it will um, it will um, get really soft and it will loosen loosen up so once uh, the back of your paper is thoroughly saturated you can turn it over And then we're going to do the same thing on the front of this paper and just if you hear that buzzing noise uh, I have a little hummingbird that started showing up to my feeder the other day and uh, I'm out here real close to the feeder so he he's not happy So as soon as I get done, I'll get out of the way so he can have something to eat. If you're going to put a drawing on your paper, it's better to do it before you wet it. Unless you want to wait till it's dry and then do it afterwards. Uh, be careful going over 
your drawing with the sponge because it could smear it, but this is an HB pencil, so it's not smearing it, so that's good. Some pencils smudge more than others, but you can see that ridge there in the paper. And just thoroughly saturate it. I'm gonna go to the side here and do the side. And there's my cat. You wanna make sure all of the paper is wet. And you can lift it up and reposition it if you need to and try to get some of these, these kind of bubbles and stuff out of it. This is why I wanted to do it outside because it's kind of a big, big project and needs some room. So I'm going to get this bubble out. Bubble. And after about 10 or 20 minutes, after the water has soaked in real good, I'm going to come back and I'm going to smooth it out and then I will put the staples in it. This is the stapler gun I'm going to use. This is a small staple. It's a Sure Bonder Easy Tracker staple gun and I got it at um, Blick uh, art, art Store online. So. Um, that's what I'm going to be using. Some of the other staple guns, uh, I have another one and it's just too strong for this kind of job. So this is just a little lightweight one. It's not hard to use. And I'm just going to let this dry. Well, not dry, but soak in. And then I'm going to come back and, uh, and make sure it's uh, not buckled. And then I will do the staples. So in about 10 or 15 minutes. I'll check on it. Okay, so this has been about 20 minutes. I just went away and done a few things and now I'm back and I'm just going to uh, check this paper and see, um, try to smooth out some of these bumps in it. And I may take this sponge and just kind of go over it, maybe wet underneath there again and just smooth it out so it's good and flat. If there's any air bubbles, you can just lift it up, wet underneath there, and then smooth it out. I don't know if you've ever had to put a screen protector on a cell phone, but it's kind of the same, kind of the same thing. We just want to push those bubbles out. I'm going to come around to this other side and get, get these bubbles. And so I'm just going to raise it up. And pull that bubble out and pull this bubble out. Let's see, there's a bubble too, so let me just go ahead and re-wet this underneath just a little bit. I'm just going to wet the board. And pull those bubbles out. And I'm 
just gonna just re-wet my paper because it had it had dried off a little bit in that time that I was away but that gave it a good chance to expand and we'll get those bubbles out and then we'll be ready to start stapling I live in the country so um, there are a lot of um, there are a lot of noises um, and if you can hear the rooster crowing Okay, so let's see out there someone. It's just about ready, and I'm just going to. It, it doesn't have to be perfect, and if you don't get all the bubbles out, it don't matter because when it dries, it's going to get tight, and um, the bubbles won't be there anymore. Okay, so I think that's all I'm going to do, and now I'm going to take this stapler. And I just leave that little little thing on it so when I want to close it I can just have it closed but I'm just going to start stapling and make sure your fingers are away from it but I want to save as much of the paper as I can so I'm just gonna staple at the edges so I'm just gonna do one there and um, I dropped my sponge, so I'm going to um, just have to not use my sponge. And then I'm going to put one in the middle here. And then another one at the corner. And now I'm going to go to the other side. I don't know if it makes a big difference, but um, I'm just going to do it this way just to get it even. If you have a handheld staple that will open, then the, that would work too. This does slightly damage your um, board. So, um, you want to take that into consideration before you do the staples, but it's meant to, to stretch paper on, so, you know, that's just part of it. If you want to have a very flat surface to, to paint on. So, and now I'm going to do the middle on the bottom side, and... I want to um, do this side here. Okay, and so now I'm going to go in between the staples. So I got three staples on each end. Now I'm going to go between the staples and add another one. Um, this may be enough but I'm going to go ahead and add a few more just to make sure so I'm going to put staples in between those staples and then that's all I'm going to do get done with my painting and I'm ready to photograph my artwork I'm just gonna leave it stapled to the board that way it'll be really flat when I photograph my work because if you're trying to photograph 
a watercolor painting and it has bumps and buckles in it that's it kind of distorts the image a little i know this from experience Okay, so that's my paper stretched. And now all you have to do is, um, if you're gonna paint wet on wet and you're ready to go into it right now, you could go ahead and start painting. But um, if you're going to paint uh, on dry paper, then you need to let this dry thoroughly and it could take a couple of hours or you know, even overnight. You can um, just just wait till it dries and just paint whenever you're ready. So uh, the staples are going to hold it and it's not going to buckle or anything. Now I have used gum tape before and I didn't paint right away and some of the tape had peeled up and so it was just, it wasn't a good experience and it was really hard to remove the gum tape from the um the board i had to cut it and then i had to clean clean it with soapy water and it was kind of um it wasn't fun to do so i, I don't really want to want to go through that again and that's why i use the staples so um, i hope this helped i hope you um have good luck if you try this and let me know what you think in the comments below thanks for watching and uh, happy painting